Hi, my name is Burton Moggins. I'm from Ackworth, Georgia, and this is a basic lesson on riding the fader in a doll. Um, and the doll I am using is Reaper. Um, and I've got three basic tracks here. One is a uh, sampled uh, drum track. Uh, the other is a basic guitar riff. That's the bottom track. And then those two are going into a, a reverb. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, for riding the fader. The idea here is that we want to ride the fader so that we can adjust levels on the fly of one of the particular tracks, which is going to be the drum track in this situation. Uh, I first want to play you the sound of the dry tracks with no adjustment. Okay, so that's all there is to the uh, tracks. As you can hear, um, it's just a basic drum and guitar track. Um, I don't like the sound of the drums being quite so hot, so what the idea here is behind writing the fader is we want to adjust the drums on the fly so that it sounds like a more natural drummer playing rather than a machine. Um, so the first thing that we do is uh, go to that option box right there and make sure we set it to write and uh, at that point any adjustments that we make to the fader will be replicated in the envelope in reaper um, which you'll see as as it's uh, playing uh, the next thing that we do uh, you can um, disarm the other tracks but i'm only going to adjust that one track so i'm not going to worry about that right now all right so the next thing that we're going to do as you can see i'm, I'm just writing the fader as the song plays in Reaper, all you have to do is press play and uh, you just ride the fader up and down. Um, and as I go through the track, I'm adjusting the fader. You can uh, use your scroll wheel on your mouse in order to make fine adjustments, or you can just, uh, if you're if you're good, you can grab the mouse and just move the fader up and down. And that's the basic idea behind riding the fader. As you So the last thing I'm going to do is uh, go back to my fader behavior selection and I'm going to change it over to read um, so that I'm not writing any more adjustments to the fader. And I'm going to replay the track with the adjustments that you made. As you can see, we've got an envelope track underneath with the adjustments to the fader written to that track. And now we're playing the track and uh, you can see that the fader is moving up and down exactly the way that we moved it up and down as we went. I, d I did this a little exaggerated uh, I would probably not adjust the drums quite so much up and down uh, as I went but it, as you can see it just sounds way more natural than it did um, initially uh, and that's the whole idea behind writing the fader you can use that to, to accomplish a lot of different things uh, we talked in the course about using it to do uh, sort of compression. Um, I'm not really doing that here with this one, but uh, you can do lots of things while writing the fader. And there you have it. So this has been a brief lesson on uh, writing the fader in Reaper. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.